What's up, guys? You with Budge Monk? It's been a long time, huh? Uh, what is this, you might ask, guys? Um, well, as as you guys know, it's uh, it's 2008. It's the year 2008, and I came up with this uh, radical new idea of um, actually playing a game and broadcasting that content to the internet. Never never heard of before concept. Yep. And, uh, oh yeah, I'm going to rebrand myself uh, Pewdie, Pewdie Monkey Pie. And uh, I expect by, you know, the next four years or so, 2012, that I'm basically the biggest thing going around. And I, I, I want to just pump out casual videos like this. Okay, and I expect about 200,000 views at the very least. All right, uh, what's that? It's the year 2020, nobody cares, Monk. Um, feels bad, man. But still, we're playing this game, uh, Islanders. Okay, overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. And I've got about 15 hours in the game so far. It's pretty hype. It's pretty damn hype. And uh, I'll assume you guys haven't played the game before. Although I'm not going to go in depth talking about things. Um, it's pretty, pretty chill, guys. Really chill, in fact. It's... It's a wholesome game. So I hope you guys enjoy, and we're just going to be building up an island. Uh, I'll just do a little bit of a quick breakdown here. If we click this, we get some buildings to choose from. We, when you place buildings, you get points based on how kind of, uh, I guess, well-placed they are strategically. When you unlock the next tier of points, these 0 to 20, you get given more buildings. So if you were ever to run out of space and run out of buildings and run out of points to be able to no longer be able to unlock the next batch of points you would essentially lose the game unless you've unlocked the new island so as you generate points you can unlock a new island and then you can go to that island and start again and that's pretty much it it's a high score game get the highest score you can and uh it's definitely a game that you benefit a lot from having played already and kind of know how the game works uh so hopefully i can do pretty well and I'm looking at this island. For the first island, I feel like we've got a pretty a generous amount of space here. So I'm excited. A lot of random variables in this game, and let's go. Already I can see that I wish we had seaweed uh, to make use of the seas. But um, it's between lumberjack or farming. So we are going to opt for farming. The downside to farming is it's going to take a lot of space. A lot of space. And space management is a big one in this game. So... You can see here that uh, it will actually tell you how one building interacts with another. So we get plus five for putting it next to a mill, and the mill gets plus four for every field. So obviously you want to put the mill down first and then place fields next to them to get the maximum amount of points. The issue, however, you can see that the fields actually have a small range. The, the mill has big range. So that is something to keep in, uh, in mind. But um, yeah, the statue is a little kind of obelisk thing, which most buildings benefit from being near the statue. And uh, I think later on you do have some options to actually place statues on future islands, but uh, ordinarily it's kind of randomly generated in and it dictates some of the kind of geography here. But I'm going to do one fat session, guys, like probably one video per island, uh, and it could take like well over an hour. So I'll try to hurry it up here. Um, I know I'm going to obsess over placement. I, I just can't help myself. I really just can't help myself. But I hope you guys are enjoying nonetheless some content better than none. It's It's been a while. And I'm going to try here, guys, to sneak these farms, which can only be on the grassland, to... Yes! That's what I was hoping, to get two within range of the statue. And then we're going to place the mill in a fashion that we will be able to surround it with farms because as opposed to putting it here uh, I think you guys understand the logic of that but doink so we unlock more stuff brewing pack okay let me think for a moment I've got a little beverage here I remember you get houses and mansions in this game as you look at these fields, guys, <laughs> oh boy, the space they take up. Um, houses like the brewer in the sense that a tavern is used to buff houses and it gets a big buff from the brewery. Uh, 
the brewery needs hop building space and hops can only be built on fertile land sand or or the kind of grass so i'm very much concerned about space i guess this lower area is going to be a bit, a bit of an industrial area and we'll do our kind of housing area on on this and then maybe a mansion area up top i'm not sure it's just so hard to manage the space so the brewery gets plus five for hops and the hops get plus four for brewery so we're going to want to put the brewery down afterwards as opposed to first but much like the mill we'll want to be able to surround it by hops it's probably something like that yeah i think that's good enough all right and let's have these farmy boys sort of carry us the rest of the way whoa do you see how sort of strategic placing is you can redact the last placement you made so one option we can do is try to put it tight next to the mill and see if that reaches the mill which it doesn't and then we can retract that and, and, and sort of put it more uh, in line with the others or, or something to that effect yeah that's unfortunate I don't know how to kind of min max this perfectly go for the 14er got plenty of farms left over city pack this is where it gets interesting so city center is uh, much like it's kind of like an artificial statue really and we can see right there that would be the most optimized place to put it, put it for points however you need to build up around it much like you do the statue so it's probably going to be better to put about here where we can then build around it um, we've got too much going on on the lower level I feel like Oh, though, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe the lower level's where it's at, now I think about it. I actually, I'm going to try to squeeze a lot in here. It's a hard call, dude. It's really a hard call, but uh, this, this is the approach we're going to take. So, the house doesn't like anything apart from the statue in the city center. That's going to be hard to, um... Oh, this game is so hard. I'm thinking about all the elaborate buildings that you unlock later on and where we're going to fit them. I'm going to opt to do something that I haven't really done before. I'm going to hold on to my mansions and try to avoid using them entirely. It's an approach I haven't done until I get another city center and we're going to do it in another area. That's the approach I'm going to take. So I'm trying to decide between using the mansions or using the houses. And I feel like based on the virtue of this giving us 22 as opposed to 15, we're going to unlock more stuff sooner. So let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh wow, pretty good placement actually. Kind of perfect there to, to kind of surround the stuff. I lied. It's not perfect. Okay, we're going to assume that we can kind of do that. Please? Yes. Nice. This is how we're going to roll right now. So, instead of doing houses, which are worth seven, maybe we do more farmlands. Hmm. <laughs> Twelve. I'm kind of regretting the city city to placement. <laughs> It should have been slightly more over there. There's no space, dude. There's no space. Okay, let's go 12. Twelve. Cheeky house down. Good. More stuff. Shaman. 
Oh, nice. I didn't expect that. We got another city center right off the bat. Beautiful. All right. So, um, the shaman is a bit of a random little guy. Oh, wow. 23 is not bad. He likes nature. You see, he, he hates the city center. So, you can actually put them out around flowers and things. And they, um, yeah, get a decent amount of points. They hate other shamans as well. So, they like being isolated. Um, but I can t tell you right now that 23 is pretty good. And the shaman can be plonked here on the uh, actual uh, stone. 23 is definitely acceptable there. He likes the statue, but not the city center. We'll, we'll just drop him tight in here nice and I'm really thrilled about that just how I had hoped we're gonna have basically two townships that's the idea so rich town up here and less rich town down there poor town poor crew coming through sure all right so mansions are basically pathetic houses in the sense they give more points in almost every way uh but their their zone of control is so small you kind of have to just build them next to the city center they, they really don't have much else going on apart from that fishery another shaman already fishery like statue and city center can we reach all three? Oh, so close no I we get 18 that's pretty good but I want all three I can't what a shame you can see how uh, much you can min max this game and boy does it get elaborate you think this is a lot uh, it gets really elaborate guys see right there that would be worth 20 but I can't place it, it has to be in the water um, it requires a lot of kind of foresight and, and memory to be able to be putting things in the right place. Um, okay, now I'm wondering, we could probably get... Oh, I can't. Oh, what a shame. I can't get both from this side. I guess we're going to have to be content with 11s then. 18's not bad for a fishery, that's for sure. Um... And you can see the second island unlocked, but we're going to continue and try to build this world up for the maximum amount of points. So we could do 13, not terrible, but I think I will wait until we've, uh, maybe we get a third city center at some point. And we can plop it down in a manner just attempting to get more points for the fishery. 21 looks pretty appealing, guys, but I'm worried about... What are we going to build next to this? Mansion, city center, shaman. It likes temple. Okay. Alright. Let's go for 24. That's not bad for a shaman, for sure. Let's 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 min-max the, the, the placement though. Make sure the door faces outwards. Okay, very important. Fashion. Very important to be fashionable. You know, guys, I've been streaming on Twitch like an awful lot, and uh, it's been a long time since I recorded a YouTube video like this, so I, I feel weird just talking to myself. Uh, I think I'm going a little bit crazy with nobody watching. I'm sure I'll call you guys chat at some point. I'll say, okay, chat, what are we going to do as I talk to literally nobody? A fountain. Fountain type. Fountain gives uh, points for all sort of residents around it. Three for mansions less for houses two for houses uh but i'm sure we will get more than one fountain i'm sure we will so i wonder if we kind of go like this and leave space for that fountain there does it no it doesn't reach that far so if i plopped it there it would reach everything that we have placed of yet okay And it's important when dealing with uh, mansions in particular that we build the mansions and then put the fountain down as opposed to vice versa. Why? Because if I put houses over here, or mansions I mean, the bubble is so pathetic and small. So you kind of, so they won't reach the fountain. So the idea is you kind of build up a nice rich neighborhood 
and then plop the fountains down. pretty much whereas the houses you you can kind of be a little bit less deliberate in that sense because the houses can be put retroactively next to a fountain and still be within range when they're far away I hope I'm doing a good job min maxing dude this game's stressful to me, I'm trying to be a hardcore nerd. Well, that reaches everything, doesn't it? Alright. I noticed that we already are too far away. Well, that's not too far. That's not true from the, the center, I mean. So if I put one like this, does the fountain reach that? It does. Which means it will reach another one here. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Thirty-four point. That's a lot of point. Should be good, right? Thirty-seven. So I'm looking for an L-shaped one which could be put here because the other mansion was out of range of the city center, but an L-shaped one wasn't. So huts. Oh, a third city center. Let's go. There's definitely random elements to this, for sure, guys. So, city centers hate being near other city centers. Um, which means we almost just want to put it somewhere random like that. It doesn't like the shaman either. Uh, we could put it way out on this island. Hmm. I'm having sneaky little thoughts. So, as I sip on my drink. Uh, because I know what's to come in this game and that might be more kind of viable than you might think having the she this cheeky little city center out here uh, now the fishery would easily reach another city center and get pretty decent points I highly doubt that we'll, we'll get an yet another city center I'm tempted to put it there guys let me think <laughs> yeah I, m I might put it here Seems a bit whack, honestly. Ooh, ooh, 29, ooh, that, that, that might be better. That might be better, come on. Yeah, 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 okay. All right, similar thought process as to that one. Not much space to work with, but we'll, we'll be able to utilize it more in the future. Drop a, a thick 29, boy. And now that can reach the statue and two city centers for 20 fishery. That's pretty good for a fishery. Let's go. Not bad. Huts are a cool little building. Uh, they like city centers, unlike shamans. They actually like shamans. They like fisheries. But there are certain things they don't like. And they're not worth very much in of themselves. Only four if we put it out randomly. But due to its small little size, we, you can fit them into little spots. Where you otherwise wouldn't be building houses. Because they like the city centers. And, um... Speaking of which, we would build some housing around here, potentially, so 21 is good, man. 21 is pretty good for a hut. He doesn't like the mill. Oh, 28. So what we should try to do, if we can, is put them on places like this where other buildings really realistically won't be built. But 28, that's, uh, that's pretty attractive for a hut dang all right i'm not happy about this not this isn't kind of ultra space efficient putting them here but they were just worth too many points for me to turn down i feel like it's really good for a little hut all right hop field that's pretty self-explanatory jam it in next to the brewery another fountain perfect no, I thought we used that fountain, which I'm glad we didn't, because we got a lot of points saved up there. But we will unlock more fountains. Another fishery. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit hard to, to really min-max the points there. <clears throat> 13 is going to be as good as it gets, I'm pretty certain. Um, 
I don't think we're gonna get much better than that, so we'll just chuck that down. Uh, another mill. Okay, guys. Now, notice the mill doesn't like other mills. But due to the sheer amount of farms, the two city centers and the statue, we can actually just aggressively place this mill and get some really significant points. Which, of course, are going to increase the value of more farm land that we put around here. That's that's pretty, pretty good. Well, that's pretty good. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to chuck them. I'm trying to think about areas that we can surround it with farms. And those farms will get extra value. Right? 23. Not too bad. But it really set up for some juicy farms, which are in between both mills. Parks are a nice little one. Parks are kind of like a fountain, actually. They get bonus from housing and stuff like that. Uh... Actually, parks can be out in nature as well, with the uh, the trees giving bonus. Oh, wow! Farmlands giving bonus. 14 is not too bad. Um, well, I'm kind of worried about a lack of housing, so I'm going to build up some houses which don't seem that strong. But then if we build parks nearby, they will, they'll buff those houses as well. So a fountain reaches that... Okay, let's let's assume this little front square has a fountain on it, and we'll try to deck this all out with housing. Yep, still within range. Plateau, here we go, dude. Two plateaus. So check this out. Plateaus are pretty cool. I like them. Uh, plateaus have to have a good foundation. They're very big, so it can be really hard to fit them into areas like this. As you can see, pretty uh, maybe we could get it if we were lucky if we fish for it. But um, this is why I was not so hesitant to put a city center out here at sea, because the uh, city center gives a buff to the plateau, as you can see, plus 10. But you can actually generate building space with some of the buildings. And not only does the plateau actually generate building space, it's actually grassland, which is relevant because you can build things like mills, farms, and parks on it, whereas you can't on stone. Uh, but it also um, actually gives a bonus. So I'll retract this. You can see that that gives plus, plus two to the park itself. So if we put the plateau next to the city center and then we put a park it's getting plus six and the housing is getting a benefit from the park etc blah 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 so pretty cool pretty cool there's a lot to this game now i'm trying to think where i want the place oh for in our game I, I i am leaning towards out here um geez i remember the markets that you get we could probably put up here i need space for a circus here i need a space for a tavern uh, 12 for being next to the statue. Oh, that's pretty appealing, guys. Temple. Thinking about the temples, the other buildings you unlock. Yeah, you shouldn't really fish for sick points with a plateau, in my opinion. It's more about min maxing the building space. Oh, that's tempting, dude. Um, yikes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Does this like plateaus? No. But 27 for huts? That's actually insane, man. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's chuck down some huts, because those are some easy points to get us to the next tier. And then we'll kind of have more options, maybe some houses which are kind of inevitable for us to build oh I thought we were doing better than we were I thought that was you can look at this it shows you you'll get to the next level I thought the house was going to do it but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself tower this is a cool one whoa two towers yeah so a tower gives um has a huge sphere on it and it likes pretty much most things. I know it likes parks. It can be fit into a lot of areas like that. Like, look, look at where we can put them, but we can't put anything else. Uh, and it's got huge coverage. So we'll definitely have one up top and one down here. But in my view, 
we'll hold on to these until we've made a massive township because again I'm going to stop repeating myself but if we put houses down here they're not in range of the tower but that is within range of the tower the other way around just checking everything's within fountain range which it is okay 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 the mansions are kind of done in a way right because we're going to start dropping some pretty weak mansions uh-huh 12 that's a good boy can that be within range of the fountain please no it is it is it is calm down look oh no <laughs> another square one damn it if we just had an L, I could put it on the edge. Now I'm gonna have to put down a weak, a weak uh, mansion. It's inevitable, actually. So I think we're gonna commence fountain. Go go operation. Drop fountain for forty point. Go go operation. Drop fountain for forty point. I think that's the most points we've gotten so far on one drop, right? And yeah, if, if the mansions can't reach the city center, they're not as valuable as you guys can see. Although they're not terrible with the fountain buffering it up there. But this is some good parking area. Parking. See what I did there? Some good parky boys. I think 15 is not too bad for some parks. Just thinking about future buildings though. Yep, sure. 15, 15, that's pretty good for parks. For this, these rich areas, for the rich folk. Warehouse. I know that warehouses like uh, things like the brewery. Ah, the mill, yep. It likes a... Uh, 24, not bad. Fish, basically anything that gathers, the warehouse generates points for. And it's got a pre pretty big range. So far, I see 24. With the two mills, the shaman. I guess shamans collect herbs and things, right? Now I think about it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, 24. We could actually squeeze the 24 here as well. But I'm thinking about potentially building a housing district around the city center eventually. Whereas this is a little bit more out of the way. Ooh, 30. 30. Uh, as much as I want the 30, guys, I think sometimes trying too hard can actually be a bit of a detriment. Do you guys see how this is much more restrictive in terms of building space? I think building space is more relevant than you might think. It's not the shaman, by the way, it's the statue. Yeah, the warehouse doesn't care about the shaman at all. I'm dumb. Even if they're gathering, gathering herbs, it's irrelevant. I saw some criticisms on like Steam reviews and stuff guys of, well, actually I watched somebody else's YouTube content of this game and the comments were saying, you know, a city builder without um, people walking around, that kind of thing, kind of makes the game a bit lame, uh, a bit dead, sort of shallow. And um, I understand where they're coming from, but... Uh, like I said, the first time I played this game, I didn't think it was as good as it actually is, in my opinion. This is a really cool game. Um, this game starts to become pretty damn, uh, well, extravagant, guys. The more things... This is the first island, guys. And I think you guys are going to begin to see what I'm saying. The more and more you can squeeze in, the more you can min-max, the more rewarding it is both in terms of gameplay but also you know gameplay points but also um it, it makes the game seem more and more bustling and cool the more activity even though there's not necessarily people walking around sort of the, the smoking roofs and uh some of the more elaborate buildings which i hope to show you guys here in soon 14 not bad but a, a little rich area is starting to look a bit fancy. Circus, here we go. Now this is one of the reasons that I've separated the wealthy people. Because a circus gets a whopping plus four, guys, for every house. And a negative five for mansions. 
So they certainly don't need to be separated to this kind of degree. It's just the bubble. You see, it's just the bubble that the circus is within. So, um, I mean, I've obviously taken advantage of the different tiers here, trying to min-max space, but a circus is a pretty nice little building. Indeed. I'm looking at that one in the far corner. So we probably will put it right there, guys. This The circus. Or else it's not really going to reach it. It would have to be here, but then what would we fit in between? <gasps> I just had a good idea. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to I actually am going to try to put it there. I know what we could fit in between. I answered my own question. We're running out of hop space. I might use a plateau if I can put it like that. Yep. Yep. I think I'm going to use a plateau out here for hop space. Hops can only be built on the grasslands, guys. So let's try uh, make sure we're satisfied with that. It's within range. We'd want to do two within range like that. Yep. Okay. Man, my precious plateaus. There we go. One's been used, but... Uh, wow. They don't fit either. We could do like three hops total. Hope I don't regret that. But the hop project's still working out well. I just realized we got a fourth city center, didn't we? Four! Four city center? What's a brother supposed to do with a fourth? Four? Let's just go city center out here. That seems legit. Now nah, we'll hold on to that one. I, I don't know. Hmm. Definitely by randomly putting it out here. Oh, look at that. Within range of that, buffing up the fish. We could, uh, that's what I'm thinking about. If we get more fisheries, we could get another decent fishery out here on the coast. I don't know. City centers. Getting so many city centers is, kind of seems a little bit uh, contradictory. Contradictory. Because, um, I mean, they're supposed to be the center of the city. Think about it, chat. Man, I'm going, I'm losing my marbles now. I'm so used to streaming. Chat is something I say habitually, even though uh, there's nobody watching live. So, Boomer Monk's losing his marbles. Talking to myself in my room. Feels good, man. That's the YouTube game, boys. Talking to myself by myself in my room. But not crazy, by the way. For some reason. Okay, that house I don't think is acceptable there. So I'm trying to do some measuring it up. This would be blocking a farm. Uh, I think that's satisfactory. We haven't really been getting farms. Okay, that's better. This is how the housing district is going to kind of continue out. Out and about. Oh, I like that little Tetri boy. That's a Tetri boy. That's the uh, scientific term. Tetri. Sneak him in there. I'm going to leave space for a fountain here. Uh... I wonder, oh yeah, oh yeah, maybe this, this could fit in, whereas another building may not really be able to be squeezed in. And the circus gets thicker and thicker, he's at 44. Not bad. Well, negative 100? <laughs> Yikes, it's, uh, that seems pretty painful. Yeah, maybe like that. Oh man, I wish I had a, a, another fountain. I'm leaving space for a fountain and I'm pretty certain we will get access to another fountain. But it makes me nervous that I might block it. Because I think they're slightly bigger maybe than a house. So I'm trying to look at the kind of theoretical sphere that this is going to create and make sure everything's inside. That is inside and we could even do more, I think. Yeah, that looks good to me cool dude <gasps> the market this boy's thick check this out look at the range on this guy oh yeah let's pop him up there in between both he's an intermediary 
in between the rich and the poor. Woohoo, 44. But do you see the thick range on this guy? So we'll wait till kind of both cities are well finished. And also, by the way, look at look at how it can reach towards us, the city center as well. If we start running out of space, we'll start building up around here. Oh, I like that. In fact, we have mansions with little to do with them. So it might be time to start popping the mansions around here. That's an idea. And the mansions would get bonus from Plateau. Yes, indeed. Okay. The market is some thick point that we can drop down at a later date. We'll just cash in more and more and more on that. Another warehouse is a little bit yikes. It doesn't like the previous warehouse, and we didn't get that many points as it happened last time. The building space was a bit of a concern, so... Uh, we'll hold on to that as well. Uh, the towers, I know the massive potential towers have... If they were, if we built these districts nearer to each other, we could get all of that point combined, you know? Um, yeah, we'll hold on to our towers, so we'll just hold on to everything, we won't spend anything, and we'll just lose the game. That's how we'll do. 15 for a shaman. We, oh, 15 out there in a much more niche location. That seems like it might be the way to go. Make use of this space. 12. Alright. Boom. Oh. Yeah, as you guys can see, I'm trying to min-max quite hard, and it's, it's kind of easier said than done, right? 14. We're going to get to a point where... Oh, look at that 52, though, dude. That's beautiful. I'm really happy with my design of this sort of city so far. 56. Okay, so I think we can sneak one on the end here. Okay, I'm going to assume a fountain can fit in this space if we're generous, and I, f I bloody well hope so, dude. I'll be very upset, because the fountain there should be able to hit the entire district. I'm just going to take a sip of my drink. This is probably a long video, guys, and a lot of you guys are probably left falling asleep, Resident Sleeper. I apologize if that's the case. Um, I very much uh, enjoy this game, but it, it requires quite some patience. Uh, let's start doing some parks around the outskirts. Uh, we've got to drop something, don't we? Nice, nice, nice. See, space, space management is very important. And 17 for a park, we're not going to be able to fit anything else in that gap. Looking very smexy. Let's see what we get. Resort Oasis. Oh, yeah. Resort Oasis likes the plateau, likes the brewery, likes the hops. This is supposed to be, it doesn't like city centers, so it likes anything nature-based. And it doesn't like the city centers or the civilization. Hmm. Seems to me... Like that is probably the best we're going to get, right? And we can boost it up more with hops. So we're going to drop another plateau here, which was intended to go out here. Uh, kind of hoping we get more plateaus in the future. But I'm going to try to drop a plateau here exclusively for the resort oasis and the resort oasis is he's a tough one because he has to be put on the grass as well i found out that out the hard way 40 sick 40 sick point 40 sick that's pretty good well that's pretty good it actually looks like if we push this further out to sea we might be able to get even more. 48. I don't think we're going to get these flowers out there. Well, the brewery's only worth two. Whereas there are two flowers worth two. Yeah, I think even further out in this direction. 50. 50 point. Oh, I saw 52. I could have sworn 52. Dang. That's a lot of point. 
That's a lot of point. 52, dude. Let's go. All right, now, when we put the hops down, Resort Oasis gives plus three. That gives plus seven for the hops, though. So we do hops first. Even more min max. Let's go. Like that. Wait. Put that down for 13, and I'm going to put a park here. Oh, yeah. See, nothing else is going to fit there for 16. Decent in of itself. And then that makes that even better. Plus 5. <gasps> 64 point. Wow. That's crazy good. I just realized we have two warehouses, which I'm never going to be able to do much with these. That's a shame. But the resort oasis. This is where people go on holiday. I'm jelly. I'd like to go on holiday there. That looked good. That looked good. I think that was our biggest boy yet. I've got a sneaking suspicion the market is going to be thick, though. It's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. What was that, 64 or something? Let's check again. I already forgot. My mind is like a sieve. Yep, it was 64. So the market, we got to beat 64. Hmm, I might not be able to beat 64. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think we will. But I've run out of houses. So I like my idea of trying to squeeze some of these in here. There's basically nothing else to do with these mansions, actually, at this stage. I mean, it's plus eight simply by being put next to the city center. Um, and you can see eight is slightly better than we're really going to get up here. Yeah, nine, actually. All right, let's go. Yep, let's go. I'm thinking about that lip in terms of space management. Uh, yeah, I think tucking it into that corner is the play. Okay. Tavern, nice. Let's get more houses, please. Oh no, there are no more houses. I got a hop field. 17. Uh, yikes, space is getting rough out here. The tavern is sick, guys, as you can see. It um, is used for regular houses, but not... 45, that's beautiful. <gasps> 53. See, the brewery gives plus 18 to the to the tavern that's why i actually built it in this fashion 53 point that's amazing i was gonna call you guys chat again uh i just wish we actually had more houses but i'm liking that 53 that's beautiful that's so thick if we could delay until we get a few more houses it would be worth more same as the circus plus 60 beautiful so I might, that might be the protocol. 24. 20. I kind of don't like to utilize this space for, for these huts, which can very conveniently go everywhere. But this is easily the, the most uh, valuable in terms of points. So that's what we're going to do. These parks. 13 is not that much. It's not bad either. But uh, I don't think we'll really be able to put anything else in that spot. So I think I will go for the 13 park there. Same with uh, many of these areas up here. Should be kind of parked out, I think. Uh, what about a tower? 24. Yikes. It could be so much better. 25. Hmm... Not thrilled with the tower. I know how much potential they have. The wo wo warehouse doesn't have much potential. It does, but not in our world, I mean. I might throw them down with a little bit of reckless abandon. Ah, farms were supposed to be good, eh? 17. Yeah, that's not bad. There's only one that it can actually be slammed between both of these, unfortunately. But 17 for a farm, not bad. 
All right, and we got 17 for the hop, if I recall. Yeah, sure. Let's squeeze that in. Try to unlock more housing at this stage. I think we'll go for um, mansions. I do want to hurry it up a little bit, as this video is going to take forever otherwise. I could have sworn that we did this not long ago. Just snuck one into that corner? No? Oh, we did. Sure, let's do that. Sure. It's not going to work. Uh oh. Um, I don't think two squares would fit like that. See what I'm saying? So we'll do that. And I cannot build a park in that little wealthy area. Temple. Temple is an interesting one, guys. Temple is takes up a massive amount of space. This is where our circus is going to go. If you look at the temple, it has a negative 75. Wow, how crazy is that? Definitely a lot of things that don't like being next to the temple. But you can see how, like the statue there, plus 40 alone for the statue. How crazy is that? Um, problem is, is simply how big it is and how small the sphere is in, in relative size to how big the temple is and how obstructing it is. Uh, so in many places you'll actually get negative points by putting the temple down. However, once you finally get it down, basically everything like houses actually like the temple and they become more valuable. Um, we have a gross lack of uh, fountains. Usually fountains seem more common. There's uh, another field. Yes, yeah, so this temple, uh, I would recommend in many cases just getting it down wherever you can without much of a penalty. You don't need to get that many points from it, but without much of a penalty is the way to go. Uh, in this case, the only real smart place would be in here for 23, but I just don't think I'm willing to do that. Because that's our circus spot for the whopping 60. Uh, I'm thinking about it though. I've got an idea for the circus. I might opt to do the temple. But the temple also is going to eliminate the housing as well, isn't it? The housing space. Oh, I really would like to get it down though. Because I know so many things are actually like being near a temple. Well, we can kind of get it gauged here. Statue, Plateau, Mason, Shaman, City Center, Tower. Yeah, plus 10 for Tower. Wall plus 10. Park plus 5. So... Temple plus 8. Hmm. I'm going to do it. Oh, I hope I don't regret this. We're going to overwrite the insane circus spot guys I do have a reason why I'm doing this though so everybody calm their pant and I think I might go for 15 instead of like 23 as well people think I'm insane right now 15 is not very much oh boy okay so that did not seem that wise but uh, I've got the future in mind I hope I'm not mistaken I really hope I'm not mistaken but uh plus two for a temple now so these houses that's awkward I'd really like to fit something in there I've got an idea in the future yeah these houses are looking nice ah yikes I I'm hesitating on that but it's too late now now that I've placed another thing we can't retract it any longer uh, but this tower now we're looking at a 20 a 35 that's starting to look pretty good Thanks to the plus eight from the temple. We'll be popping a tower down here shortly, I think. All right, we got another fishery. So I see an 11 from the fishery here. If we opted to throw down a city center, which we squeeze some mansions around, I 
I might retract that, but let's let's drop down. Yeah, 18. 18. That's pretty good. Alright, I think much like this, I'm just going to squeeze some mansions around this as they basically have no more use. Uh, so be it. That's our fourth city center, and we can drop a fishy boy for 18, which is a lot more. Okay. 14 is as good as it's going to get here for a field. Where should our parks be going? Parks have a lot of potential, but they also fill space that housing and stuff could have. Um, forget about the parks. Let's fill out a little bit. With some mansions. This is all mansions are really going to do for us right now. Just try to close this gap and hoping to get some aha walls this is a hard one to make use of guys look at that awesome walls look at the shape of their coverage um they're very hard to make use of now there's a, a few issues with walls this is why i left the space here look how we can get some genuine decent points um to slip some walls in there walls so often because the space management is so hard that i find the wall is very much one-sided you put it on the outskirts but if you can find ways to slip them in the center they get twice the points and walls have a lot of potential there as you can see we can get 30 points there uh however this is how you would typically use them just due to lack of space even though 23 though is pretty good though um but slipping them into between things is really really good now Placing houses next to walls, they don't like walls, as you can see, negative from walls. So you definitely want to kind of complete the housing district or whatever, and then put the walls down. And the more things nearby the walls, the more uh, points you're going to get. And funnily enough, I think we're kind of done there. I might start building walls around this temple now. Uh, the park doesn't like walls either, though. So, yeah, I mean, 11's not worth that much, guys, but I think if we drop that fountain, it will be within range. So I'm going to um, do one there. The kind of fillers. 17. Okay, I'm going to stress out a little bit if we start getting houses. I might build them around that as they'll be able to reach the city center, but the these, of course, do not reach the city center. The mansions. And it's gonna start to get tougher and tougher here, guys. I'm trying to min-max the, uh, the spots, for sure. The placement. As we run out of space. Oh, 11 like that. Uh, sure, okay. 12. What about this field? We're not, can I sneak one in there? Oh, come on, give it to me. Yeah, this that's about as good as it's going to get. 10. Damn, that would be worth 14, but I just can't sneak it in there. This is obviously where they want to go. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, the tavern was really good. So the housing district's kind of done, right? Let's go for the 57. Well, if we just push over a little bit more, if I got some more houses, I'd put them down there, and then that would be within range of the tavern as well, right? Some cheeky houses here. Uh, never mind. Um, will this mansion put us over the edge? I hope so. You can see how much of a tryhard I am, right, guys? This is... You know, ultra casual game. Lol. And here I am. I'm trying to break and be the world record holder. Seaweed farm. Very often, this house will go here. Very often, uh, you have the ability to choose seaweed instead of actual farms in the beginning of the game. And I think th this game is very much randomly generated for sure. And uh, this is a pretty big island actually. It's quite spacious for the first island. 
but that's part of the reason that it actually gave me uh, fields, I think, is because I had the space. So where should we do a little seaweed crew coming through? I think we're going to put seaweed farm way out here. Why not? Is there anything that uh, affects this? Uh, statue. This likes statue plateau seaweed field. Well. Okay. I guess I could just chuck it on here. And maybe that's within range yeah okay well so be it I hope I don't regret this in terms of space cramping things up but we're gonna min max Z pointos L pointos 13 oh come on oh the fishery can be built over the seaweed farm like literally over and under that I learned something new there okay cool cool so we'll go for 11 now these get plus one for every adjacent seaweed farm if you see what I'm saying so 11 is not bad for sure it's not bad as we, we were getting 10 from the farms which are nice and well established um, running out of mansion space here in fact I think we have so it's time to sneak in a house Seven's pretty bad, but it's better than nothing. And it gets plus two from the tavern, which we're finally going to drop for a whopping 59. Not bad at all. Oh, man, I just realized we're missing out on quite a lot of those houses out this side. But it's, it's still better due to the statue in this town center. I think we should be satisfied with 59, right, guys? It hits the brewery. Yep. 59 let's go boom man doesn't our freaking city look sick sick look how beautiful this is i love it dude this is the most wholesome game 24 for a hut that's good huts are just money right now hut city up here aha the balloon al balloono it doesn't like the temple. Ooh. Uh-oh. What else doesn't it like? It's got a negative uh, 15. Yikes, dude. Balloons are very often... Oh, no. I find balloons to be absolute bank. But the temple in the middle of the city. So the balloon does like the circus. I know that. Which we haven't dropped. And it does like the towers. But we're going to have to put it away from the temple. Now, it likes the resort... And we might get more than one resort later, I'm not sure. But um, in order to get the resort and not get the temple, it's going to have to be <laughs> basically about there. So it'll be very hard to get the circus and the both towers if it's right there. But, oh, I don't think, uh, you know, you need to be a little bit slow and deliberate with this game, guys. And here I am worrying about the fact that this recording is going to take forever trying to hurry it along a little bit so it might cost us it definitely could cost us if I don't sp well I want to speed things up but you know what I mean don't be patient this game's serious business it's serial business we got another cheeky uh, shaman yeah it's gonna be tough to get any kind of significant points for shaman we're getting five from the temple six 12. I think just tagging it on for cheeky 12. It will be pretty rough to get better than that at this stage. These are easy points. Trust me guys, a hut is pretty good for 24. Like, they're usually not that strong. You see, it's all the various different things. The, uh, the city centers in between three of them. The fisheries, the statue down there, the shaman... Uh, I think that's what it is, the shaman. Oh, 24. Okay, I, I prefer that placement. Finally. We're, we're le using less valuable land, with yet less valuable real estate, to get the same amount of points. So this district, we decided it was done, right? I think so. 
I think it's time to drop some some thick city walls here. Nice. I was wondering if we could fit like a um, a park in or something, but I don't think we can. So here we go. Oh no, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna try use uh, the walls for last. I almost made a mistake. I I always do the walls last. This market is starting to look really nice. Looks like a uh, 68 is what we're looking at right now. Um, if we could squeeze a little bit more housing in somewhere, I guess the housing would be here. Is the market reaching the stuff in the back? No, it's not. Damn, that's a shame. This uh, area in the back is, is quite useless actually to kind of synergize with other stuff. Um, I think there's no harm in tagging on some houses onto the outskirts there. Well, that's good. Yeah, sure. 13. The market, we might be able to place it to reach that if we're lucky. 70. Beautiful. But not yet. We're going to go greedy. Greedy, greedy, greedy. Does this like the market? It does. Very good. Alright. Now... I think 42 for a, a tower is kind of good, so that's kind of as good as we're going to get, right? 42. But what I want to check, we're going to drop our first tower here, flags up. Just trying to see if we can squeeze out a little bit more. 42 looks good, so let's get the 42 in the most kind of eastward manner. And I want to check if the balloon can get the resort and the tower, but not the temple. No, no, do you see that? Oh, look how close it is. No. So the tower, it's worth a whopping 15, guys. So even though that's 42, it would be smarter to miss out on some points. I'm sorry to say. Oh. I saw 42, like, here. Let's keep trying. Yes, there it is. Beautiful, beautiful. We got the full 42. So our balloon's going to be here. It's a little bit of a obscure location. I usually like to have it hanging over the city. Um, oh, the monument. This this has good potential. Oh no, the farms and the hops are screwing us. Yikes. I've had way more points out of this. I've had insane points out of this. This has been some of the biggest buildings I've ever dropped in my life. The monument. It's uh, one that uh, I kind of struggle to remember. Look at this. So the monument gets a it gets a massive amount for the city center, a massive amount for the temple, a massive amount for parks, huge amounts. But it doesn't like the, any kind of a uh, farmland industry. Right now, the best we're going to get is up here. Clearly, I can see that forty. Oh, this is so much more potential than that, though. So what we'd want to do is drop farms around here, not farms, but parks around here before dropping the monument because they're plus eight. Plus eight, that's a lot. So any of these of a decent size and value. That makes sense to me. We just got a fountain, by the way. Oh, it's been a long time coming. Yes, beautiful. Usually fountains seem a little bit more accessible than they were here. Oh, careful, careful, careful. I was going to drop it here. That would block the wall. Let's go tight in here for the whopping 55. I didn't realize we had a fountain and the wall should fit. Yes. That's good, man. That's really good. Nice. That was cash money right there. This uh, tower has to be within range of the other balloon, but you can see how much it gets penalized. Negative 30 from the other nearby tower. So we could get up to 30 out here. 30 which is it's better than this significantly but if this is where nearer to the balloon it gets plus 15 so we we can see even something like 20 is is better uh the balloon gets a whopping 15 from another tower indeed so the monument would be up here after parks uh, how's the market doing? I could have sworn we, we got up to 70, didn't we? 
I guess 68 is where it's at right now. And that increases the uh, balloon by 15. So we're going to want to drop that big boy uh, soon. I don't think there's much more bonus to the market, guys. It, it likes housing. But I don't see... Uh, the mansion is only plus 2. So there's no reason to put it here on like a 2. That would only be a 5. Whereas simply a city center is better than that. So let's not go crazy just to try to boost the market. Maybe with that in mind, we're satisfied with the 68. 70. I knew it. Alright. I'll keep the mansion around because we might change our mind and I'm going to drop it for the whopping 70, guys. That's the biggest, most thick building we've dropped so far, I believe. But doing. Just taking a drink. Um, wow, look at those points. Water plateau. Nice. Look at this. Isn't this game cool? It's not quite a plateau, but it's a it's a water plateau. So we can add, do some additions. Man, this game's cool, dude. Come on. It gets better than this, guys. It really does. It's pretty cool. So, I'm thinking about, um, this area needs another reserve. If we get a reserve, I've got nowhere to put it. Um, the same with hops. However, they need to be on grasslands, so we keep that in mind. So what would we do with the plateau? Just general building space? Aha, a place to put a warehouse. Look at that. Think about it. The warehouses suck, but what if we artificially create building space for the warehouse come on dude this game is a total pog champion this is a sick game so let's uh, think about where this would go I think that's as good as it's gonna get the warehouses they have got a lot of potential you can see the f even the market likes the warehouse 20 that's pretty good actually eh? 20 we'll keep that in mind this was worth more this is as good as it's going to get for us. So, warehouse crew coming through with the 27. And the water plateau... Oh, it's the same. Okay, well, that's a little bit anticlimactic. I was going to say that our water plateaus are actually randomly generated and randomly uh, look different and so on. Uh, and you can have uh, quite a few different options with them. 23. It's tempting... Aha, uh -huh, 24, 24. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Tempting to go for one less point in order to use space that I otherwise wouldn't. Wait, that was where this was going to go, wasn't it? No, it was up here. It can't fit there, sadly. So, yeah. This is the smart place to locate these huts, in my opinion, as we get access to them. Nice and space efficient. And the parks. Let's do parks prepping up the monument. I think, like, 12. 12 is smart even though it's not amazing it's smart considering this is the best place to put the monument yes and the monument gets a whopping plus eight per park so i'm going to try to squeeze any park in there wall plateau guys look at this city center plus four statue plus two wall plateau plus one now, I, there was a reason I opted to sacrifice our good spot for the circus and drop the temple. And it's because I thought if we get the temple down, we can build the walls around it, etc. and actually make some use out of it. And I'm hoping, here's the moment of truth, that we can build a thick circus on top. Oh, it's not worth that much. It's the temple. The temple. Yikes. No, the temple itself. No wall platter no that circus was worth so many points please be good 28 oh. <laughs> yikes it should be like sort of ah damn I tried man I tried I was trying to redeem um, that tower was kind of uh, ruining it as well the, the location 
Um, this is actually good placement for the wall plateau though. Like the wall plateau itself is generating 20 points there guys. Because it's hitting up two centers and the statue. It's kind of pretty damn good placement. I think I am going to do that. And um, can we do like something great? <gasps> you can? You can extend the plateau. <gasps> oh la la. Oh la 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 la. Oh wow. And then we can put the circus in a mobile position spot. Oh. Hype? Alright, let's go for the 20. Thirty-eight. Oh. Health health kinda of silly though. Like we're we're gonna start obscuring the sun of the farms. Uh twenty-one. Yeah, again, guys, that that's good placement for the plateau itself, which usually only gets ten by default. 44 let's go not bad dude cool i admittedly it looks a little bit crazy there i don't really like the look of two you know this this branching out into the middle of nowhere but we'll take it dude 44 point now it's just um houses and statue 40 sick! 40 sick point! Let's go! See, it's lucky to check, eh? Uh, lucky I checked there. But doink! Not bad. Not bad at all. You can see, guys, uh, there's actually a sandbox mode in this game, which I haven't tried, but you can see if you were really going for style and looks, how, how cool this game could look, right? I think that's pretty sick, man. I, I'm really keen on this game. Seaweed. Nice. 12 is not bad considering we didn't really build up seaweed at all. Our park will go up here. Yeah, I think... Uh, does this cover stuff easily? 56. It does. It does cover stuff easily. Okay, we don't need to obsess too much with the placement of this then. So instead of going for 11, we can go for the the 13. Yep, nice dude, nice, nice, nice. We got some some good stuff up our sleeve yet. Now notice it says pick one, and there's only the lumberjack guys. Why would that be the case? Because we've actually completed all the picky boys. We've taken everything that we can we can actually pick from. And uh, now it doesn't mean it's over, it doesn't mean we won't get any more items, but it means there's no more packets, there's no more packs. Uh, we will be kind of just randomly boosted up with with more stuff at the, from this point onwards. And I personally feel like if you can get to this point, then um, you're doing pretty well for points. On an island, if you can get to the point and you have enough space to spend everything, or most things, uh, you're doing pretty well. If you lose before this point, then I feel like you're not doing as well, right? This is kind of like a, a pivotal moment, in my view. Okay, we're gonna go for three there. Now, 16, sure. The lumberjack stuff is like a sort of farming resource that you can pick from the beginning. And if you take it early, guys, you seem to get a lot similar in a similar fashion to how much farm we got throughout the course of the game. And I recommend being careful, being very careful. Um, if there better be a lot of wood for you to take that, in my opinion. And even if you do take it, when you place things down, it, it destroys trees. See how the trees get eradicated? Um, that's why I opted to take it last because uh, not a huge fan of that myself. Uh, but uh, we're coming right to the freaking end here, it looks like. It will not be too long here before we'll be we'll be stressing a little bit, guys. That's my prediction. We'll be stressing a little bit and starting to worry. 22, huh? This game, this first island, is beginning to kind of run its course. Um... We were gonna go for like, yeah, like a 21. Uh, I think park, if we can squeeze them in 13, it's pretty good. More parks up in the wealthy town. 
this warehouse. Oh, look at that. It's not bad. We had a 20 over here. This is pretty good use of the space, though. I'm not sure what else we would do with this space. Um, maybe we just opt to take the 20. 20 point. Now, notice this thing, the lumberjack. It likes the trees, guys. But if you actually cut down the trees after already placing the lumberjack, you don't lose points or anything. So there's definitely a lot of meta with this game of, of the this, this sequence in which you, you place things. Do you guys see how this is getting 19? But that negative... 15 is costing it a lot. I'm wondering about a, a cheeky wool plateau there. And chuck the uh, warehouse here. It's good for the warehouse. Is there any other reason I might want to suspend something at this stage? I don't really think so. 16 is... Uh, it could be worse for, the, for this itself. The and it kind of synergizes. It seems like it's pseudo giving a little bit more support to this ridiculous area. Um, 26. 26 point. Ah, oh, if only we could get those, though, eh? Yeah, I mean, 26 is still better than 20. Not by a dramatic margin. Uh, can we do something ridiculous here? Like, we can. <laughs> okay. Let's try this. There we go. 34. Alright. Alright, that's pretty good. Well, this is really starting to look less like ordinary village, and that's rich and more like a ghetto, let's be honest, with that hanging above it, but uh, it's pretty cool. Lumberjacks. No! Lumberjacks are trash! absolute trash so they don't like other lumberjacks guys I mean literally right now I can put it within range of that in this statue I, I, not even cutting trees for nine and we want to do it so that uh, it, we have more space for the other one yeah it's about as good as it gets right now to be honest we're not really building anything else in here so it's not too bad hop field where I can't build because I don't have space that's not good not good at all. This is what I mean. We're coming right to the brink. That would be the dream. I can't fit it there. I was under the impression that I could fit it. Really sad. We're going to have to go for a 7. Right to the brink, guys. Right to the end of the um, run here. It's about to be wrapping up shortly. 14. I still feel like we could, we could get a few cheeky more um, parks up here or something, right? Uh, I don't think we're going to get much more for a tower, though, guys. So it might be time to drop the tower. Twenty-three is pretty bad for a tower, but we know it's going to help the balloon by plus plus fifteen. Uh, I want to make sure that the monument fits in here. Uh oh. Ah, oh, it does. Okay, that didn't definitely looks good. I feel like that tower looks good. Let's, uh, it's only 23 though, right? Yeah, let's, uh, think a little bit more about it though. Just, just have a quick look around. Is there any amazing spot? It would have to be amazing because the balloon... 30. 31. Okay. Now the balloon doesn't like the temple though. So, is there any way... That we can give, get that, get the friggin' now. If we could just get the the tower here, do you see what I'm saying? Can we? <laughs> this is so hard to control where I want it. I, I can't. I can't do this. Because it's on the cliff side. No. Sadly, no, 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 no. No. Nope. As much, even though that's better than the other areas, we're missing out on 15 points. So 22. 
Let's keep looking. No. Here we go. Let's check it up here. For the 23, which I know exists. Wasn't it 23? Yep. There it is. Just double check I didn't block the monument. I would be really sad. This is one of the biggest, thickest buildings. I know you fit in there. Don't lie to me, boy. There it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop the balloon. Which is 3045. We're not going to get much better than that, guys. 45. Not bad. Now, if the circus was in range, we get plus 15. So maybe... Maybe I went a little bit crazy there. I uh, got a little bit more excited than I really deserved. Um, the water plateau... The regular water plateau... Dude, I think net 19, I might be satisfied with that. Let alone, uh, you know, I might not obsess over actual building space here, guys, because we're running out of buildings. Damn it! I was really hoping the water plateau, uh, I know from experience that you can get one with grass on top. Then we would drop the water plateau over here and, and put down um, the hop on the plateau. <gasps> well, I got a second plateau. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh... Houses we could squeeze there. So parks are going to squeeze up here if we can fit them anywhere. Uh-oh. Oh, that lumber mill boy. He's, he's messing us up. Alright. I think this uh, town up top has really run its course. So, unless... It gets plus 8, guys. Plus 8 is a lot. So that's 11. Not amazing. But six is kind of amazing. Does that reach it? It does, dude. Look, it does. See? Plus eight is uh makes it worthwhile. Eighty-eight. Wow. Eighty-eight. Let's go. Monument in Richtown. Okay. So let's kind of exhaust this. What can I get? Eighteen? Twenty. Just go for actual points here. This is kind of the warfare area, right? This this game looked good. This game looked good, dude. <laughs> Look at how scuffed, like, skyscraper asks stuff going on. It still looks good. Even when you try to make it look bad, it looked good. And here's the moment of just give me a grass one. Oh, no. We, we literally have nowhere to put the hops. That's the problem right now. Okay. 16. Oh, we're running thin. It's almost GG, guys. Legit. We'll go around putting the walls down. We can't fit a farm there, if you guys remember. So 14 for a park. Not bad. Oh, yikes. I used the scaffolding to block me out here with the seaweed. That's, that's a oopsie daisies. This is going to give us zero. <laughs> One. Ooh. A little bit poorly optimized. I'm going to hold on to that. Same as the farm. The farm could ultimately be popped up here for just something. Uh, huts. Oh, the lumber mills are freaking costing me now, dude. Stupid ass lumber mills. Nobody likes you. I saw a 22, though, eh? I did see a 22. I could have sworn I'd... Uh-huh. 22 is about as good as we got them for those. Nice. Sneak him in. It's coming close, though. My prediction is three more at best. We're going to get three more unlocking of stuffoos. That's the scientific term, stuffoos. Give me more stuffs. Oh, ten. Oh, wow. Oh, look at building houses up here. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, wow. By being above, they hit the city center, they hit the fountain, they hit the temple. Oh, my freaking housing up top. That's where it's at, dude. Sick. Okay, never mind. We, we got some life in us yet, dude. This is some sick point for houses. Let's... Here we go. 32. 
33? Oh, that's sick. 31, nice. Give me houses, dude. Parks, uh oh. Hops, seaweed, and field with nowhere to go. No water plateaus, no nothing. Yikes. One, thirty-seven. Damn. I'm glad I didn't overlook this, man. That there's some definitely some meta to that, guys. Right? Build above things, and and the houses, which have a decent radius, are within range of them. Oh yeah, I could definitely definitely see that in the future. Like building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna remember that. It's within range of the market, and so many things that you've uh, built up. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. I'm gonna go to for, for the twenty-eight, because I think it fits in more nicely. And we're running out of houses now. Twenty-seven. Yeah, it's a pretty wholesome game, right guys? I like it. My prediction was off. We definitely please be grass. Yes! Let's go, dude! The the grassy boy gives us some farmland. Some hop land. There we go, dude. I had nowhere to put that. Still hanging in. 20, wow. Okay. Twenty three for a park, that's pretty nice. It's pretty dang nice. Seventeen. Damn, we're really making magic happen, I think. Even fifteen is, is pretty good for a park. Whoa, this score is, is starting to look pretty good, man. First level, by the way. I'm liking this. I think 21 is satisfactory for this hut at this stage. Uh, I think we can get, well, you know, you can put them in areas here where I've literally run out of building space. But yeah, they're not worth as much. We'll go for the 21. Mansions, sadly, are, are quite pathetic right now. I can't get mentions though. No. Oh, another circus. No, that's not something we want. <laughs> a circus has massive potential. But I I mean it's too late, dude. I, I've got nowhere to put it, man. Ah, oh, that's not cool. Come on, man. Look how much potential this is. We're gonna have to be it looks like 16 for a circus. That's pretty trash. But uh Hmm. We could try hold on to it until we get another plateau or something. Uh, I'm not sure it will ever be generous enough to give us enough. If we got another plateau here, like about there, uh, the temple makes it really hard. About here, that's as good as we're going to get for that, I think. Or maybe actually just branch off of this. It would need to be like there but above. I don't think that's possible either. Okay, can we squeeze a park in anywhere? Nope. Eight. We're really starting to run thin on space. At this point, eight actually looks good at this point. Maybe, uh... Ah, you can build a park out here. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So that's within range of the city center. Can we do the park there, please? Please, yes. 13 is pretty good for a park. Well, it's okay. It's not that good, but we, we don't have options. So yeah, I've got a sneaking suspicion, guys, that these fields are literally just going to go for three. You know, due to actually that being a, a valid locale to put them. I think we're at seven for a... Yep. A mansion. That's quite appalling as well. 
Oh, 13. 13, but what if it was a house, though? 21, dude. Alright, well, I think the house should go like that for 22. And then 13. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. We got the walls. Which, I know I got some good walls to wrap around here, but... Yeah, maybe 16 on that. Um, we're done fleshing out this area. So, we're not going to get penalties for placing the walls? I think it's time to go. 27? 30? Come on. Still plenty more walls where that came from. This is pretty good for walls. It's hard to make use of walls. It really is. I, I did a good job there. Walling that off. And then we're going to start to get some poorly optimized. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Such sick potential buildings with nowhere to put them. Space management is cursed. A fountain out here would be hype. Oh, that's so decent, dude! That's so decent. 34? Let's go. A mill has to be on grass. Yikes. Oh! Oh, not bad. 22? Looks pretty as well. I like a mill up here. 24. Let's go. 28. 28. Let's go, dude. Wait, 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 wait. Our circus has to go here. We're not going to get in. Oh my god, I already ruined it. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that park already scuffed it up. Okay, 16. We're going to have to be satisfied with 16 because I, I genuinely can't. Uh, there's nowhere for this to go. Um, it can be placed on stone, huh? Yeah, I mean, it, it's going to have to go for the 16. So I think the good news is that I can pop that to 16, which is so bad for the potential. But this can fit here, right? Please, this can fit here. This can fit here. Come on. No! <gasps> 24, but 24... Ah, uh, we, we saw a 28. Yeah. We were hoping to get a 28 here. Damn. Alright. So, that would mean that this in actuality is 12, if we look at it that way. Can we get a 12 -er or better? I mean, that's 10. It's close. It would have to be better than 12 for it to be relevant. I could hold on to this. Twenty-one for the seaweed, and they, this is why I held on to my seaweed. If you guys recall, they were worth tr absolute trash, but now they're within range of the seaweed field. Nice making something happen um yeah i think i think we're gonna go for the 16 24 it's as good as we get guys wow barely hanging in there this is gonna be a total of nine points those farms water plateau whoa plateaus okay wasn't oh I, I think it was the circus right that's what i wanted but it's too late now what are we going to do with these with nothing to build on them? <laughs> Why are you giving this stuff to me now, game? Uh, eight. Uh, how much can we get for... Oh, 18. Yeah, we're going to start placing these plateaus for points then. So, maybe a park. Wait, 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 wait. Let's be smart about this. What about putting walls in between the plateaus? Is that possible? it's going to be really hard to get genuinely like thick points on these walls we should really start thinking about these walls it only gives plus four for the plateau itself you'd want something for it to be built on 20 so 10 okay well we could get eight though is the thing this is worth 14 if we put the wall in between 
and then we could build f these are parks next to the city hmm it's only worth seven hmm seven's not great at all I'm thinking here it doesn't make the the walls look good but that's 18 I'm pretty sure that the parks they like this stuff. Oh yeah, dude. 19? I saw a 19. I, I swear I did. Hmm. I could have sworn I saw a 19, that's why I said, oh yeah. Where's it at? There. Yeah, I guess so. City center makes it 10. City center over here. 13. Man, we're about to get GG'd, I can tell. 13's not amazing. I think 12 would be better. Because it upgrades the, the um, strength of the parks. So what if we have space there? And we slip a wall in here, it's worth 10. Uh, what I'm thinking though is if we put, I mean that's worth 13, and then that should be within range of the walls, right? I think this is good, guys. Ah oh, man, I'm out of parks though. I'm trying to get thick parks like this, I'm freaking out of parks. Anyways, we're coming right to the end here. So, how much do we really want to obsess over this? I'd like a really good score. Let's finish well, but it's been a long video, and it's been the first session of this. 20. Let's go for 20. It would be 24, which would make this worth 14, which is kind of better than 12. I think I might go ahead and, and chuck that down. Stop, kind of that would be 24 that's the one we had all right let's stop sort of freaking out about this and actually get some something done okay so this seven should be worth nine boom and then that should be worth even more right 27 not bad maybe it could be min maxed a little bit more and now originally there were walls we could put up here but that was before we really made this hard <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? We're right up against the edge here. Uh, I don't think we got much more action going on here. So I'm skeptical we're going to get very uh, amazing points for these walls, which, as we demonstrated, have pretty good potential. I demonstrated it in there. Um, like 30 plus points for these walls, potentially 20. But uh, we're going to try to sneak them in for as much as we can. We've got eight more. You know, 30 plus is uh, asking a bit much, but there's a 15 right there. Not bad. We're almost unlocking a new tier of stuff. F maybe 15 is good for us right now. F 17. Okay, let's take that. Not with bloody anything out here on the port. Seventeen. I don't think we're gonna get to. I don't think this has any utility at all, does it? Right now, it's kind of just look to build out the dockyard, in my opinion. Seventeen is actually good for this anyway. It's our wharf. Okay. I mean, this stuff—it's a bit late, dude. <laughs> it's a bit late. Thirteen, huh? Thirteen might be uh, might be where it's at for this boy. Makes this area look a little bit more industrial. 
a house at this point. Ah, uh, yeah, building on the plateau is, is not bad. Uh, 11, 12. There's no more space up here, was there? Alright, let's chuck down a house for 12. That seems decent. That might actually increase the value of a wall, like here. 15. Mm, it's okay. Thirteen for a park. Oh, hey. Not terrible. They like the plateaus, the farms. Nine for a farm. Eight for a farm. Actually better than I thought was possible. I was just thinking that probably we have too many farms that we could even fit. I could fit three on those two islands for three points apiece, which is pretty trash. So they'd be better off on the plateau. Look at this. They really would. Well, now I'm wondering if the wall likes farms. I don't think it does, right? Nope. Alright, this is the best place to put these, though. I might put them over the side just in case we get, like, a, a farm or something. Dude, better than I thought for those scuffed-ass farms. 16 11 it's kind of a shame that you that, that's why there's a sandbox mode I think if you guys really obsess over looks we're squeezing in these walls anywhere we can and it kind of it's a shame I don't think it's making the town look you know horribly ugly but 15 let's take that we got so many more of these we need to get rid of um, but at the same time, it's not kind of, it's not beautiful, is it? It's not min-maxed to the maximum beauties. The beauties of the fullest of nature of beautifulness. Just trying to squeeze these in. It's uh, a little bit uggo, in fact. Ever so slightly. There's a 14 there, guys. We're getting pretty desperate. Ah, 17. Let's take that. Oh, here we go, dude. A tower, dude. <laughs> More wolves. It just keeps trucking on this game. 12. Okay, shaman. 2. Uh, 6. 6. 12. Oh, 12 is pretty good. Sh shami boy. Yep, sure tight little spot there we won't fit anything else <laughs> excuse me I've got an itchy nose 11 38 for tower uh, if it's within range of balloon it gives a decent amount but the other towers are nearby and the balloon's so high up yeah I think 34 is around here 37 I don't think we're going to get much more than that let's go actually some sick points all right, we're down to our walls, which we'll, we'll try to get rid of. I might make it to one more set of buildings, maybe. Questionable. Look how little six actually progresses us there. Six is something we could realistically get. Uh, I saw a 12. I mean, 12 is not much, but it might be kind of... We might have to settle with that kind of 12 right now. 10. 10. Eight. Sneak him in, come on. Yikes. Tens are looking good right now. 13. Yikes, dude. Yeah, I mean, we just don't have options. It's a shame. This always happens. I, I set up some good walls, but you get so many of them. They have so much potential, it's kind of depressing. I'm going for a, a freaking 10 at this point. Okay, 14 is good. 20! Nice. 17. 
14. Ooh, I'm kind of learning the angles look a little bit stronger, Wolves. Maybe we could do a better job. This is truly GG, guys. This is our last set of stuff, I can tell. There's no way we get make really good use out of this. Um, so, we're squeezing out the last few points. I'm wondering... Two... I guess three is good, huh? Can we get more than three? Seven. Let's do that. Uh, five... That can be more. Fourteen. Farm. I don't even have space on the plateau anymore. Genuinely, this is going to go down for three. And just, uh, I don't think there's any way that can go. Literally, just like here. All right. Is there any way I can could have put a mansion without a penalty plus one? See the walls now everywhere are, are making it genuinely uninhabitable. Any any bonus at all? Dude, this is the best mansion in the city, Chad. <gasps> yes, bonus. From the plateau. Let's go seven. Housing likes the statue. Seven. Nine. Haha! -ha! Found you. And that makes an eleven from the wall. I found some yeah, an eleven. All right, guys, that's it. We'll chuck this out somewhere. I'm looking for better than 11. I know we already made a compromise and did some 10s, which maybe wasn't the right uh, play. I couldn't find anything better. And right now, in a pinch, I can't find more than 11. So there it is. That is our first world. It's been a long video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's a pretty cool game. What do you guys reckon? I think it's pretty cool. And of course, this is where you would ultimately die. If you ran out of space or time or something, and not time, but but resources, if you were unable to go to the next island, but we lost, we unlocked the island a long time ago. And if you guys would like to see more of this content, uh, I'll consider just doing that, chilling here, recording, losing my marbles, talking to myself. It feels weird, man. Uh, but just to leave you guys a little bit of a teaser, we're gonna say bye bye to the first island where we got three thousand four hundred thirty-eight points. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Uh, it's good for me. There might be some god tier pros at this game, but I think that might be the best out of my uh, first islands that I've had so far. And yeah, you have the ability to go to a new island. So if I was to continue, this is where it would be at on this new boy. Now, despite the looks, this is grassland here. And uh, look at that. Some new interactions. This seems pretty spacious. Statue is in a terrible spot. <laughs> to be utilized but uh yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed random content peace out thanks for watching